Hi guys, welcome back to Dose of Doyen. It has been such a long time since I sat down. Um, a lot has happened. I moved um, from an apartment to a house. Um, it's Christmas, it's been six months. Um, the panini is still going on. But I thought I'd come back. I really, really, really want to become consistent. Um, and the only way to become consistent is to actually just sit there and shoot these videos. So I'm trying. Um, if this is the first time seeing my face, hi! Uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you um, for watching this video and for sticking around. Um, I'm hoping that 2022 brings us great things and more videos about fun things. Um, today's video, I'm just going to be right honest, is about to be messy. Um, this is going to be a roast. Um, I'm going to roast things that in the luxury community we spend our money on. Things that I think is particularly ugly. Um, full disclosure, if you have any of these things, that's you boo. Um, if I receive any of these things as a present, I would rock them. So let me not, let me not sound like, actually maybe, okay, some of them I wouldn't rock, but you know, I would make it work, baby, if it was free.com. So I got on my Corella DeVille outfit because I'm ready to go in. In fact, like I said, this is a read. So I'm going to put on my glasses and I got my phone out because I've been making notes for a while because you know I watch these videos even though I'm not making them and some of y'all be really to some of y'all like to buy some ugly things and um I'm here to talk about it okay so like I said things that the luxury community like to buy and rave about trendy things that I just think is particularly ugly I think my list is around five things it's five things but depending on how this goes it may be longer okay so the first thing on my list <sighs> have y'all seen these bags that they're making that look like bottle holders like everyone has one I'm gonna pop up pictures here from all sorts of brands with all sorts of prices I didn't even <sighs> I don't even know what those prices are but i know it's more than the 19.99 that a bottle holder should be and um it doesn't matter who's on it chanel gucci you don't need a designer bottle holder masquerading as a bag you just don't need that no one asked for that like when would you use that to the gym where are you going with that <sighs> okay that was number one. I just really had to get that off my shoulder because I think, I don't know if they're doing it as much this year, but last year, no, they have to be doing it this year because that's why it's on this list. It's just a lot and people think it's cool. Okay, the other one. I know for a fact someone's going to comment about this and um, I'm not sorry in advance. So the Bottega Veneta mesh square shoes, I don't know what the official name is called because again, I don't need to do research on it because it's ugly. Y'all are really <laughs> making Daffy Duck cool because it has mesh on it? Really? The netty? It doesn't matter who wore it. I just want to let you know. It doesn't matter which of your favorite celebrities, your mother, your grandmother, doesn't matter who put it on is ugly. It's mesh. It like it, it's categorically not flattering. It does not do anything. It in three years when that trend is over, especially now that Danielle Lee has left Bottega, so now there's gonna be someone else to bring in their own designs. In three years, y'all are gonna be looking at this mesh shoe that y'all put on y'all feet for 2020, 2021. And y'all are going to be disappointed in the choices that you made so can we stop please okay number three okay your favorites have worn this my favorites have worn this it's still ugly the marine sair like outfits like the moon thing 
like the mesh I'm putting up pictures on the side so we're gonna see what I'm talking about <sighs> no guys it's a cat suit it's a two-piece cat suit and just because it has the little moon thing on it and it's I mean I see y'all making it a look okay but it's just a cat too we don't okay I'm just gonna move on now um number four number four um are camera bags as a general category doesn't matter who makes them YSL which are the ones that most people get the YSL ones are very popular in the luxury communities I've heard they are really sturdy they hold a lot of stuff I think they're ugly I think that like they can be nothing but casual and I don't know I don't I just don't like it okay I don't really have much to go on it people love it but I just don't like them I don't feel like you can do much with them but take them on an errand bag like they're like an errand bag they are an errand bag period that's it nothing more nothing less um the last thing I have on this list but I actually do have a bonus <laughs> I'll wait okay the number five that's on my list are luxury planners and by that I mean specifically the Louis Vuitton planner things that everyone buys and it's like oh this is I was so excited to get this planner I'm really planner heavy I know there's a planner community don't come for me I didn't ask for that but you can go to Target the dollar store Walmart and get a regular smuggler planner for like five dollars if you want to be fancy they're the leather bound ones that you can get all sorts of places including Etsy for less than $30 why do you need a Louis Vuitton agenda you will not be more productive in your Louis Vuitton agenda than you would be in a regular schmegula planner that you got from TJ Maxx and Marshalls just call it a flex you wanted a flex and I, I, I mean in the end all luxury is is a flex but there are better ways to flex like I mean the prices are up right now so I'm putting in the prices on the side you can do a lot of things with that money, right? Right? Okay, so that was the stuff on my phone that I have been putting together. I have more and I can continue to do more videos on these, but honestly, I'm kind of scared about the feedback I'm going to get to this. Like, if you were going to roast me, it doesn't matter because I can't, like, I'm, do your best. I stand by my words. These things is ugly. Okay? Useless. Um, and actually, after going through it, even if you gift it to me for free, I would just resell it. Because some of y'all going to buy it. And I'm use the money for better things. Okay, so the last thing's on my list. Okay. There have been many videos made about this. And like I said, this particular item, if you give it to me for free, I will take it with glee and pleasure and use it. Chanel Classic Flaps, y'all. Wait, Chanel Classic Flaps bought at Chanel at full retail. The luxury community love to tell you, oh, Chanel's still a good investment. And it's true. As someone who's bought a Chanel Classic Flap at the retail, it was a fabulous investment. I've made mad money. No Chanel bag, at least a Classic Flap, a regular Schmigler Classic Flap, is worth eight plus thousand nine plus thousand dollars mm -mm. Mm -mm. it was barely worth the five thousand that I paid for mine and even that mm -mm. don't you spend that five thousand dollars I mean that eight nine thousand dollars girl boy whoever don't do it um I mean there's more I could really say about that but truly that is just a waste of money a true significant forever ending waste of money even with the idea that you will recoup at some point there is a ceiling on every good every good has a maximum price in which people are willing to pay for it 
I would argue Chanel, Chanel has hit its ceiling at the retail level. So if you buy it at the retail price right now, with the hopes that on the resale market, you'll be able to sell it for more, I think it's a very big gamble. To be honest, I'm happy to be proven wrong because I'm keeping mine. And so if the value of my bags continue to go up, I'm, I'm fine. But yeah, that's basically it. Those are the, um, I hope this video was fun to watch. Um, I just wanted to be messy. If I'm gonna come back and be consistent, let me talk about things I have in my head and not care about if it's gonna be a good video or not um i just wanted to talk about the things y'all have to buy and yeah anyway thank you for sticking through thank you for hearing me ramble um hope to see you in the next video and i hope you all have a good rest of your day and happy holidays